Hello, welcome again to the Kidney Kitchen. Today we're going to make some vegetarian, lightly spiced chickpea and vegetable burgers. Great summer dish, great for the barbecue. Um, easy, easy, simple ingredients, again, store cupboard ingredients if you like. I've got a tin of chickpeas there, got some carrots boiling on the back, some lovely wholemeal rolls. Just a matter of putting them together. Let's crack on. Okay, so I've got a, there three or four carrots in there, and they've been on oh, about 10 minutes now, so they're nice and soft. You can see the carrot. The carrots are just falling off the knife there. So really quite soft, plenty of water, no salt in the water. And then we'll drain those off, smash them up with a, a beater with the chickpeas. So that's my carrots cooked. I've just got them a little drainer there. Now I'm gonna smash up some of my chickpeas. Just a normal potato masher. I've rinsed these as well, drain those and rinse those. I bought the ones in water rather than in the brine. I'm just going to lightly crush, crush my chickpeas and my carrots together. You could always stick them in a food processor if you wanted to, rather than do it by hand. So there you go. So my chickpeas and my carrots. A bit of garlic. And then I've got some spices in there. I've got some uh, ground coriander, ground cumin and some smoked paprika. If you like them a little bit more spicy, just up your uh, up your levels a little bit of your spice. Let's give these a good mash. And just a little squeeze of lemon juice as well. Squeeze of lemon juice. And then just a couple of turns of a couple of turns of black pepper. There you go, it's a little bit of a workout. And like I said, you can always put it in a food processor. It'd be quicker and easier, but keeps me fit on like this. You can leave them a little bit chunky. They're not going to be pureed exactly. You can leave them a little bit, bit of texture to them. Something like that. Now we're going to make four even-sized little patties. Just gonna let them set up in the fridge as well for a little bit. They can be a little bit wet, but that's all right because you've you, you drained your chickpeas and you've mashed up your carrots. You've drained your carrots. There you go, four perfectly formed chickpea patties. Like I say, we give them about 20 minutes, half an hour in the fridge just to firm up a little bit. So a bit of an alternative to breadcrumbs, we're going to use some cream crackers which you can, uh, you can buy readily available. I'm just going to smash those up in my tea towel. So yeah, clean tea towel, get your crackers in. Just fold it over. And then you can go to town with your, with your rolling pin. If you've had a bad day, this is quite a good way of getting rid of a bit of aggression. <laughs> There you go, see them all breaking up nice and fine. I use crackers quite a bit actually, I've used them in uh, Maryland crab cakes before, which is a, a lovely little dish, and cream crackers is a classic uh, ingredient in those. Just helps dry something out, if it's something's too wet, crackers is a good alternative to your breadcrumbs. Okay, 20 minutes are up. burgers from the fridge and we're just going to put them into our into our crackers so I'm going to put each one of those in my crumbs so that's my first one on the tray did a bit of oil and then we do the other ones I say the crumbs do soak right into your into your burgers that's right gives them a nice little bit of crunch when they come out of the oven There you go, your four burgers into your preheated oven. About 20 minutes, 10 minutes on each side and we'll flip them after 10 minutes. 20 minutes have passed now. I'm sure they're gonna be ready now. I'll flip them over after 10 
And there we go. They smell great. Okay, just grab one of these wholemeal rolls. And a classic accompaniment to burgers is a bit of crisp lettuce. A couple of slices of cucumber. And then one of these patties on top. I've got a little bit of fresh coriander here as well. And then just a teaspoon of creme fraiche. Squash down, a little skewer just to hold it in place. Don't forget to take those out. And then we have our spiced vegetable and chickpea burger. Just got to invite Nick in now, the dietitian here today with me. I know he loves his burgers. How are you, hey, buddy? How are you? Very well, thanks. Yeah, this looks great. Looks all right. Yeah. That's it's good, isn't it? It's a bit different. I'm not used to having vegetarian burgers. I've never made them before either. No, first time for me. They look great and they smell really good. It smells amazing. It does smell really good. Should we give it a go? Only half. Cut it into four, I think, should we? <laughs> Might be a bit messy, this. I think it's brilliant because we've used the creme fraiche rather than the um, like ketchup or other condiments that are quite salty. Yeah. So it's quite kind of more, more natural. Is there um, anything else I could have used apart from the, the creme fraiche? Uh, maybe a little bit of mustard um, yeah. and maybe a bit of mayonnaise or salad cream, but okay. they're, again, they're quite processed, quite it's a bit more salt in there. Yeah. So I think we've chosen kind of the least bit of sour cream maybe could you yeah again yeah. same quantity messy but tasty that was really good so we've got the chickpea um kind of holding everything together and it, it was really surprising wasn't it, that it kind of stayed together it did yeah absolutely they did and uh, could you put anything else in the in the burger as well, I'd, you know, I'd like tomatoes and things like that. I know tomatoes aren't so good. I think, yeah, it's one of those things that you know, kind of the more we're adding, the more we're adding to the potassium uh, content, I suppose. Maybe some chopped up pepper, a bit of onion, yeah, um, pepper, yeah. but just to kind of give it a little bit more taste or consistency. But we've got the um, crackers are in there as well. And yeah. It makes it quite nice and tangy, actually. Nice well, crunch to yeah, it as well, isn't it? Good. Yeah. Mm. Not too much spice. And that's just fine. That's good. That's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Right, cheers. Thank you.